Hello, welcome to Scrap Time episode 775. My name is Christine and on today's episode I'm showing you the Spellbinders Bitty Blossom Dies. Today I am showing you the Bitty Blossoms Die from Spellbinders. It is a Donna Salazar um, design and what it is is three of the little um, swirl flowers. I've shown you these sort of swirl flowers before in different designs. Spellbinder also came out with another one that's uh, larger to go with the other couple they already had in their collection. I like the Spellbinder Swirl Flowers just because it gives you that interesting edge to your flower. So I have made these flowers already and what I really like about this die is that they are small little flowers because I find sometimes some of the larger flowers are harder to use. And so you can see these really cute small flowers and they have some really fun little petal designs. Now to make these you just uh, roll them and then I like to use the Scotch quick dry adhesive and what I do is I put some on the little round part underneath there and then I just push my flower in and I hold it for a little bit until it gets set and then let it go and then I let it dry completely. And then you end up with these really cute flowers. Now the one thing I found about these flowers sometimes depending on what you want to use them for is they can be tall off your page. So be it a card or a scrapbook layout or that they could really stick out and sometimes you don't want that bulk. So when I was looking around I actually came across Donna's blog and she smooshed them down and I thought I, I really like that idea. And I'm going to show you today how to smoosh down your flowers um, to make them thinner. So if you're mailing a card or putting a scrapbook layout in a protector and that you don't have so much bulk. So I'm just going to put down a paper towel. Now I only put down the paper towel to help collect the spray um, to make it easier to clean up. You, I wouldn't need to. I have the craft sheet so I could just do it right on the craft sheet. But it, I just find there's less mess when I am doing it on a paper towel. I'm going to spray it with the Perfect Pearls Mist in Perfect Pearl. You can see it's just the nice little um, plain pearl. It's not going to change the color. I have to shake it. You can hear the ball. Ranger has put a ball in their um, Perfect Pearls Mist to make sure that the powder gets nice and uh, distributed throughout the liquid. Now if you didn't want um, any glimmer on your flowers you can spray this just with regular water as well for this technique but I always like to add a little bit of shimmer to a project like this. Oops he went up flying. So we're just trying to moisten the paper and I cut these flowers using the Summer Soul Collection from Fancy Pants. And then what you want to do is you take something flat. This is um, the Tim Holtz stamp thing, stamp block. And now I'm just smooshing down my flower. And you can smoosh it as little or as much as you want. And if some of the paper gets twisted like that you can either un put it back out or leave it sort of like that. You can always squish them back up a bit with your fingers if you want more of that center sticking out. But you can see by spraying it and smooshing it you now have a flatter flower and they make cute little flowers. So I'm going to show you my finish Thing. I'm going to take my flowers off and then just, there was just a little bit went through. So I did this art journal page and so I have a whole collection of flowers here again all cut with that fancy pants summer sole paper. I also cut the leaves out and I just squeezed them in and I have a nice shimmery flowers and you can sort of see from the side there that it's not too high up off my page. So when I close my book it's going to add some dimension but it's not that same really wide dimension they would have held originally. And again make sure your glue is dry before you spritz them otherwise um, they may come apart. So you want to make sure you have nice dry glue. 
And there we have the little bitty blossoms from Spellbinders. Well, that's it for today's episode. Be sure to check out our website at www.scraptime.ca. And on our next episode, I'm showing you the Doodles Unleashed book by Tracy Batista. So please join us. Thanks for watching Scrap Time.